Hey everyone, Andrew here. I was working on a side project this weekend and really wanted to add in some kind of social login to it alongside the traditional email and password method. I knew that Laravel's Socialite package existed and was perfect for this, but I didn't know how incredibly easy it was to set up until I tried it out for myself. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to be specifically targeting GitHub as our service of choice, but the steps are pretty much identical for Twitter, Google, and a variety of others. To start off, I have a really basic Laravel app set up already. There's a sign-in form which takes an email address and password and brings me to a dashboard page where my name is displayed from the user model. This entire flow consists of just a few blade templates. Additionally, we have our authentication routes under the guest middleware and our dashboard and sign-out routes under the auth middleware. This way, it will be automatically redirected to the login screen if we try to access the dashboard while logged out and will redirect us to the dashboard if we're logged in and try to access the auth screens. Purely for the simplicity of this video, I've overwritten the default Laravel authentication classes with a single login controller. The index method just displays the sign-in view, and when the form sends out a post request, it validates the email and attempts authentication. Finally, a simple logout method logs the user out and redirects them back to the landing page. Now that we have that brief setup out of the way, let's start adding in our markup for the GitHub login. Under the sign-in button that we have, we'll add in a new link. It's going nowhere right now, so we'll just use the hash as a placeholder and set the class as a secondary button using sign in with GitHub as the text. We'll be using Composer to install Socialite, and all that's required for that is to run Composer require Laravel Socialite from the project root. Once that finishes up, we can head on over to our config services file. This is where you'll add in the credentials for any site that we use with Socialite. We can specify the key as our service, like Google, Twitter, or in our case, GitHub. And then its value is an array of three components, a client ID, a client secret, and a redirect URL. As with most APIs, it's not recommended that we keep the keys in here, but instead reference them through environment variables. And we're not using any default values here, since that's pretty pointless in this case. Okay, let's go back to our web route file, and we'll have to add in two new entries. The first one, for sending our user to GitHub to approve our application getting their information. For that, let's use sign in GitHub. And while it may be better in larger applications to split this off into its own controller, we'll just tack on a new method called GitHub to our login controller. Our second route is when we're redirected back from GitHub to our application completing the authentication process. Using sign in GitHub redirect works for this. And again, we'll add in an appropriate method for it to our login controller. We can quickly scaffold these methods in our login controller and set them aside for right now. The next step we need to focus on is getting and adding in our GitHub credentials. In our app's env file, we can add in the three values that we referenced in our config services file earlier. GitHub client ID, GitHub client secret, and GitHub redirect URL. We don't have any values for the first two yet, but we do know what the last one should be. It's the full path to the second new route that we just added in. For us, that's localhost 8088, sign in, GitHub, redirect. Of course, your application's domain will probably be different, and you should use that here. 
Grabbing our client ID in secret is pretty easy. After logging into GitHub, go to your settings page, and at the bottom left should be a section called Developer Settings. If you don't see this link, you'll have to sign up for GitHub's developer program. It takes just a few minutes and is completely free. Just go to the URL you see here and follow the steps to get registered. Let's navigate to the OAuth apps section since that's the method that we'll be using to get a user's data and click new OAuth app. A few details are required like the application name, homepage URL, and callback URL. I'm going to use Laravel SocialLite tests here, but you'll want to use your actual application's name since all of this information here will be shown to the user when they sign into your app with GitHub. Our callback URL is the redirect URL that we set in our .env file earlier. That's where GitHub is going to send our user after they've accepted the authentication. Hit register application, and we're all set here. A quick note though, some services do have a small review window where your client ID and secret won't be available until that's cleared. GitHub is immediate though, so we don't need to worry about that here. Let's copy and paste the ID and secrets into our application now. And back on our login view, we can edit that link to point to our GitHub sign-in URL that we specified earlier. Finally, things are starting to come together. We just need to tie this functionality together in our login controller. Add the socialite facade to the top of the login controller, and we'll also need our user model, the str helper class, and the hash facade. In our initial GitHub sendoff method, we simply need a single line of code. Return socialite driver, specify the driver, which in our case is GitHub, and then redirect. Let's see what that looks like by going back to our application's sign-in screen and clicking on our new sign in with GitHub button. Perfect. We're brought to the GitHub auth screen with our application's name, what it requests, and where we'll be redirected to afterwards. Let's hold off on hitting that authorize button just yet, because we don't have any functionality tied to that actual method. Back on our login controller, we can add to our final method, GitHub redirect. Getting the user object from GitHub is another simple one-liner. It's socialite driver, GitHub, and user. If we DD this object, go back to our application, and authorize the request, we're returned back to our application, and you can see all of the user's information dumped in here. We have full name, email address, avatar URL, and all sorts of handy information straight from their GitHub account. Let's put all this to work to authenticate a user into our Laravel app. Expanding on our GitHub redirect method, if a user doesn't exist, we need to create them. But if they do, we need to get that particular model, and either way, authenticate them into the application at the end of it. Eloquent's first or create method is perfect for this. Calling it on our user model, the first parameter is an array of values that we use to find a user. The only thing we need in this is the email address, since that's the only unique column for this table. The second parameter is the values that we'll pass in if that user doesn't exist and is being created instead. Let's set their name as their full name from GitHub, and create a randomly generated password hash for their password. Finally, we can use the auth login method to directly and manually log them into the application and return a redirect back to our dashboard view. Time to test this all out. Sign in with GitHub, and since we've already authenticated this application, it skips that initial screen entirely. The user object was picked up, a new user was created in the database with my GitHub email, and it's displaying my name on the dashboard just like before when I signed in with an email address and password. Let's sign out and test that functionality out, and sign back in again to prove that everything is working just fine. And that's it! It's really that easy to get started adding social sign-ins to your Laravel applications, 
and I definitely regret not checking out Socialite sooner. Huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, and thanks everyone for watching these videos and continuing to give me your support. If you have any questions about this or any other web development topics, please feel free to let me know in the comments below or by messaging me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.